So in this video we'll be showing how to install Magento as well as the Sales Igniter rental module that goes into Magento. So first we'll go ahead and start off just downloading Magento. So if you want to search in Google for Magento download, it'll take you to the Magento downloads page which we're showing here. As you see it's Magento Community Edition and we'll go ahead and download the most recent version which right now is the 1.9.2.1. So you can choose from downloads the version you want, the archive format that it's using. So we'll use the zip file and click download. And it may ask you to log in if you haven't already logged into Magento, but it's a free account that you can create. So we'll go ahead and download this to our hard drive and wait for that to download. Okay, so now that it's downloaded, we'll go ahead and unzip it. So I'm going to use the right click on it and use 7-zip, which is a free program you can download. I use it for unzipping files, or you can just use the built-in uh, file system unzipper in Windows. So I'll extract it. Now once that has been extracted, I'll go into the folders, and you can see here all the files that Magento needs. Now let's look at how to set up FTP. So with FTP, the program that I usually use is FileZilla, but you can use whatever FTP client you're comfortable with. FTP is just file transfer protocol, so it's a way to upload files to the server. So FileZilla, for example, you can search and find the download link, which is free. So I've already downloaded that, and we'll go ahead and open FileZilla, as well as that folder. So in FileZilla, we'll click the site manager and we'll click new site and the host you would get that from your web hosting company so for me that's install.rentdeskmanager.com I'll leave it to the default port we need to put in our login so also your web host will provide that to you and we'll click connect and it's just going to ask us to verify that we want to trust the secure connection. Okay, so once you connect, you can see these are the list of files in your web hosting account. Typically, you're going to want to upload to your public HTML folder. Sometimes it's HTTPD, or they can have different names, but, but usually it's public HTML on cPanel servers. All right, so you can see we have no files in there. So let's go ahead and highlight all of our Magento files and move them over to our public HTML folder. Now we'll drag and drop and release. And you can see it's going to take a while to upload all the folders to our directory. Okay, we're also going to look at how to set up the database for the Magento install. So we'll go to our cPanel. Now this may look different depending on the web host that you're using, but uh, we're using cPanel on our server. And you'll want to go to the Databases column and MySQL Databases. So what we're going to do is add a database as well as a, a user for that database and then connect the two together. So we'll just add the database. Then we'll go to adding a user for that database. Then we'll add the user to the database so it can connect to it. And we'll go ahead and give it all privileges. And you'll want to keep note, of course, of that database name as well as the username and password because we'll be filling that out a moment into the Magento installer. So after the files have uploaded, we'll just go ahead and direct our web browser to the URL of our site. Um, and it'll pull up the Magento installer. So we'll just go through the steps that it has. It's fairly straightforward. And choose your locale settings and here we'll put in our database name and username so we created these just a minute ago
I'm going to save the default settings for the rest of the fields. Okay, then we'll put in our administrator information. And we're set to go. So we can go to the front end and to the back end. So now once we have Magento installed, we'll want to go ahead and install our rental system, the rental module, the sales and nighter one. So after you purchase, you'll have access to the zip file. Uh, for the example, the current version 1.4. So you'll want to unzip that to your hard drive. After that unzips, you'll want to use FTP again to upload those files. Uh, you can also do that via cPanel, which we'll show shortly. So you'll want to highlight all those files and drag them over to your FTP folder. And that will take a little bit to upload. So after that's uploaded, we'll want to log into the admin panel. Then we'll go to system cache and we'll flush the cache. We'll also flush the cache storage. And notice after that the new rentals menu will be there. Now if you start clicking on those links you'll notice that they don't work yet. It'll give you an error message. That's because you need to log off and log into the admin panel again. So after you do that, you'll see that those links will work. And you can also check the current version that you have installed under the current version menu of rentals and adjust all the other settings. Now we're also going to take a look at installing Magento via the cPanel using a automatic installer called Softaculous. So if you want to go to your cPanel and scroll towards the bottom there will be this Softaculous apps installer. Um, so you can go by category, but I'm just going to scroll right here and use the Magento installer. And so under install, you'll choose the options. So you'll have your domain name, the folder you wanted to go into. Usually I like to just install that into the main folder, not a subfolder. And this will be the path that goes to your administration panel. I usually just call it admin in the table prefix. I don't usually add that, so I just leave it blank. And as well as your admin password and your email address, and you click install. So as you notice, that's a lot easier and faster than installing all the files via FTP. So that's the way that we recommend if your web host does have that. Let's also look at how we can install the module via the file manager. And this is a lot faster, so we'll click the file manager and you'd want to click, you want to make sure you're in your um, the area where you want to install the extension to, which would be the Magento root directory and you click upload and then from upload you click choose file and you'll want to choose the rental 1.4 and so you'll want to allow that to upload now once that's done, once that's done we go back to the file directory and we click on the rental 1.4 and click extract and we'll extract the files and then after that you would want to do what we previously shown in this video where you would go to your system and cache management and clear the caches.